the best way that I've ever been able to describe it is, a, is that it's just a massive feeling. This massive moment and like emotion. The whole thing, um, yeah. You know, because Nashville has its countryside. It has its country music side. And you, you kind of get off the plane and you're walking through and it's there. And then you sort of go deeper into Nashville and it disappears a little. And the music, the music gets more interesting, more obscure, more... You know, they're sort of pioneering new things and new sounds all the time. Um, for all of their roots and traditional sort of classic music roots, like I say, and, and, and history, um, there's fantastic new things going on in Nashville in, and in music there all the time. Um, so I experienced that quickly, you know. Uh, it was uh, That was kind of in my face and in my ears, like, straight away. And, um, yeah, I, I, I just... Uh, I guess I kind of tried to soak up as much of that as I could. So I guess recording in Blackbird Studios meant you were, um, you were sort of, you could sit back and look at everything happening around you. And I read something about Willie Nelson. <laughs> yeah, God. I, um, I, I, I kind of got there and, and we were working in Studio D, which is an incredible room. And they've got, you know, there's an old, there's an old J200, it's a 1949 J200. It sounds like a piano. It's just ringing out, beautiful guitar. Um, and I'll, there's a 1941 like D th Martin D35 or something, and there's a gorgeous old J45, and all round the sound hole it had all like scratched all the wood. You could see the grain, and it was literally the last bit of wood before there was before there was like a bigger hole fell through, which was incredible. But so I was you know losing my mind in this studio with all these instruments. It was incredible. Um, three or four or five days sort of went by. And I was just deeper and deeper into it, and everything was fantastic. And then I said, all right, chill out, take a second. You know, one afternoon, I just stepped out into the car park just to take a breather. And, yeah, the gate opened up, and this big bus came through, and it had this horse painting on the side of it that was, like, running through the desert with rainbows. And out stepped Woody Nelson, yeah. And, I, you know, so although I'd gone out to try and calm down, the opposite happened because this enormous, you know, Superstar turned up at the studio, and they, they, you know, the dude from the Dan Auerbach from the Dan Auerbach from the Black Keys, everybody there, you know, and I'm just sort of in awe of this place and all these people. It was, it's, a, it was an incredible experience, a massive one, like I say. And you worked on the, in the album with King, who wrote yes. King's Leon. Yeah, yeah, Jakia yeah. King. Yeah, so it must be a big thing for you to get to work on your album with him. Did you choose him? Did you? Yeah, him? I mean, Jakia, it was a huge thing, it was a huge moment for me because. You know, I got to a point where I had enough songs to, um, well, record an album, and I wasn't, you know, I didn't know anything about production. I kept, I've, I've sort of touched on it and worked on it and, and done my own bits of production recently, and it's, it's kind of gone okay. But, you know, when I went in to make the album, I had no idea, so, you know, my manager said, go home, sit down with some, some of your favourite records from the last 10 years, and let's check out who the producers are. And there was a, a make a little list sort of thing, and I, I sort of boldly, you know, at the top of that list put Jakir, um, thinking that would never happen. So I just went, you know, it's almost a stupid, silly choice. Um, but we got in touch, or you know, label and management got in touch with him, and um, and he came back. He came back, you know, to me, and he said, because uh, he'd seen that video that that my label saw of me playing, the, and he heard a few demos. He said he'd love to do it. He said he'd love to make the record. So that was a huge moment for me. 